Hey yo, what is up guys, Zakar here, back with another video. What if I say that this matchbox can be an internet connected camera? Yes, that is correct. That is what we are going to make today. This is the security camera or the internet camera we will be making today. It's a ESP32 based camera module that we will use. It's just simply connected to a USB cable as you can see right here and it's streaming right over to the internet wirelessly. You can see, I'll pop in the stream window over here. So that is uh, the camera footage that we're getting from this. It's a quite decent camera that you can get for this price and the project that you can make with this. You can use it as an internet security camera, spy camera. You can take still images. You can add a display on this and what not see. So if I point this towards the direction of my laptop on which I'm streaming this video, that is pretty fast. You can change the resolution as well. You can get better picture resolutions when you get still images or something like that so we'll make this project today i'll tell you all about how to make this so stay tuned if you're interested in how to make this cheap internet connected camera which fits in a matchbox by the way I order all my PCBs from jlcpcb.com. They offer 10 PCBs for $2 only. They also offer quick turnaround time and can produce PCBs as fast as within 24 hours. To design PCBs, you can head over to EasyEDA and then generate Gerber files for your project. Now head over to jlcpcb.com, upload your Gerber files and get the PCBs manufactured for cheap. They are currently also offering discounts on shipping. So firstly, you will need to get this type of ESP32 CAM module. Uh, this is an absolutely amazing module for this price. You get an ESP32 board. Along with that, you have a camera connected to it internally. So there's no need of wiring absolutely. Apart from that, you also get an SD card slot so you can save in images as well. There's a little white LED over here as well. When you hit the reset button on this module, you get that. And uh, the, the range of this antenna on the SP32 is not as great as it should be. So I'll use an external antenna like this as well. I'll put in all the links in the description below for all the parts and the software used in this video. So that's it about the module. The module doesn't have any breakout or something for power. So there's no micro USB as we see on ESP32 boards. So what I did is I developed a breakout USB port and I got it from JLC PCB. So this is micro USB breakout port. I've broken out all the pins over here. I'll use the ground and the 5 volt and connect it to this module over here. As this ESP32 doesn't even have a... Uh, onboard programmer so you'll need an external usb to serial converter as well for that because you need to program this module and you, it's possible with a board like this or a cp2102 or something like that so you can connect the rx and the tx pins which are present on the board somewhere so we'll figure that out as well so let's get on to the soldering part firstly i soldered a black and a red wire to the ground and the vcc pin of the breakout module then I soldered the other end of the red wire to the 5 volt pin of the ESP32 cam and the black wire to the GND pin of the ESP32 module. Once the soldering was done, I just attached this antenna on the IPEX connector of the ESP32. Now the basic connections part was done. We'll move to the matchbox thing. I used an old matchbox. I took out the matches out of the way. Then I used a paper cutter and cut appropriate holes uh, for this camera slot and a micro usb slot on the bottom i ended up with something like this i cut a hole for micro usb over here so the micro usb will go right here somewhere module will go somewhere here with the antenna crammed inside let's do that as well so everything fits inside the uh, matchbox and uh, we'll use some hot glue and some double sided tape to fit this all in but before that we have to program this module so it will be something like this with a micro usb port over here i'll put in hot glue and all the double sided tape to keep this intact and this will be the final thing you can keep it anywhere you can use something else as well you can do a 3d print and a better version of this you can add a battery as well if you want that is all possible with this because the size of this is very small and very cute 
first let's do the programming before fixing this module inside this then we'll have the demo for this firstly you need to add the sp32 board in your arduino ide for that copy this link provided in the description below to the additional boards manager urls in the preferences tab in your arduino ide once that is done head over to the boards manager and search for ESP32 and install the boards. I have already installed the package. I have also provided a link for the code in the description below. You need to open this code in the Arduino IDE. Once your code is open in the Arduino IDE, you need to put in your respective SSID and password that your ESP32 CAM needs to connect to over here and over here in the code. Now head over to the tools tab Select your correct board, ESP32 dev module in our case. Then a very important step in this case is that you need to select no OTA large APP in the partition scheme as this code is very big and needs more memory than usual. Now you can connect your ESP32 board using the programmer to the computer and after that select the correct COM port and hit the upload button. Once the upload is done, you should be good to go. So now I've uh, put in all the hot glue and all that stuff into this box and I've connected this to a power cable to a power bank and uh, yeah it's all set up as soon as you plug in the USB cable it gets connected to the Wi-Fi and the password that you have entered you will get to know about that if you connect this to a serial monitor as well but uh, yeah uh, now using an angry IP scanner or your PC you can see which IP does it connect to you can make it static as well in the settings. Uh, but yeah, in my case, it's 192.168.1.8. You must enter this IP on the web browser on your some laptop or a phone. So I did that in my case and you'll see this page and this page means that your that your ESP32 cam has started working. Now you just need to hit the start stream option and you will see that it is streaming. So my camera is now showing what's on my page because it's faced that words. So you can see that and it will get stuck sometimes but yeah it depends on the Wi-Fi range that you're getting the power you're supplying to it. So it's a pretty fine camera. Apart from that you can also uh, stop the stream get still photos and for still pictures you can get a very good resolution as well. So when I click get still get a still it will take some time. It will take some time but yes there's some banding because of the studio lights in here. And yeah, that is it about the camera. You can use it as a spy camera. You can use it as a security camera on your gate. You just need to supply some power connected to Wi-Fi. This is so damn cheap. That is all from my side about this project. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll have all the relevant links in the description below for this project. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now. Hit the bell icon to get notified when we release a new video.